All right, hi guys, this is Pierre Cohen with Pierre Cohen Piano, and today I'm going to show you guys how to find your keys on the piano. Um, so first we need to just look at the way the black keys are outlined, because the way you're going to find the names of the keys are all with the help of the black keys. So if you notice, there's a pattern of keys. We have two black keys, three black keys, two black keys, three black keys, and the pattern continues. So the best way to find the names of your notes is to, uh, with the help of the black keys. Um, first, the music alphabet is A, B, C, D, E, F, G. Um, and so to find your first letter A, um, you would find the three black keys, you'd find the middle black key, and A is to the right of the middle black key. So that's how you would find all of your A's. Three black keys, right of the middle black key, right of the middle black key. So any A. And then from there, the, the, the music alphabet just goes in order and repeats. So A, B, C, D, E, F, G. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, and so on, all the way across the piano. Um, but the best way to really find your keys is only with the help of the black keys, meaning what you don't want to do is to find C, start, start on A and do A, B, C. Or say you know where C is, a lot of people know where middle C is. To find F, you do like C, D, E, F, right? The process takes too long. So you're going to always use the help of the black keys to help you find the keys. The reason why is, if you think about it, if we just cover the black keys, all the white keys look exactly the same. So um, you'd want to just go through uh, the keys individually and memorize how you find them with the help of the black keys. So let's, let's take, for example, two black keys. With two black keys comes three white keys. To the left of two black keys is middle C, or C, any C, really. Two black keys, C. In the middle of two black keys is D. On the right of two black keys is E. E. Then we have the F, F, G, A, B, which fall along with the three black keys. So F is on the left of three black keys. So you find three black keys, F. B is on the right. I'm, just gonna, I'm not going in any specific order because you don't want to have to go in order. You want to be able to find them in random order. B is on the right of three black keys. Three black keys. And then the last two is a G is on the middle left. So you find the middle black key. It's on the left side of it. G. Left middle black key. G. 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 And then A is on the right side of the middle black key. And that's how you find your letters. Now, it, it takes some studying, but after you practice this game, uh, you'll get the hang of it very quickly. It's good to practice this away from the piano so you can visualize the keys as well. So like you visualize two keys. Okay, I can see D. It's in the middle of two black keys. Doing it with your eyes closed, seeing a picture of the, of the black keys in relation to the white keys is very helpful when you're first trying to get your notes and finding them very quickly. Um, now let's talk about the black keys and how we name them. Um, the black keys can be named as sharps or flats. So a sharp sign looks like a hashtag. Uh, a flat sign looks like a lowercase b, basically. Um, so when we sharpen a note, we are going up in pitch. So for example, if we wanted to find the note like C sharp, well, we know where C is now with the help, C is on the left of two black keys. And C sharp brings us up a half step or to the very next key up to the right. So this would be C sharp. So sharps go up in half steps. So here's F, you go up a half step, you go to, you get to F sharp. So you sharp the F, so this is called F sharp. So now the opposite of a sharp is a flat, which goes down a half step, or the very next key on a piano. So let's go back to say E. We know that E is on the right of two black keys, so E is here. Uh, if we go down a half step flat, there's our E flat. So if you notice, D sharp and E flat, are the same key, they sound the same. Now there's a reason why we have to name them different keys depending on what key you're playing in, um, but that's a topic for another video. So the key here is just trying to get comfortable finding your sharps and flats. A good way to help you remember that flats go down, I like to think of it as like a flat tire. As a, as a tire gets flat, it, the air goes out and it goes down. So think going down, which is going down in pitch in this case. So E flat, B, flat. Now, a um, couple of notes to think about. B and C don't have a black key in the middle, um, 
but you could, in, depending on, again, what key we're in, this is topic for another discussion, you could technically, if you take a B and you sharp it, it turns it into a B sharp, all right, or a C. Again, this will be a, a, a topic for another discussion, but B and C don't have a black key in between the two of them, and neither does E and F. There's no black key in between. So if we're going up chromatically, we'll talk about that term, but we're just going up in half steps, C, C sharp, D, D sharp, E, F, F sharp, G, G sharp, A, A sharp, B. Conversely, we can use flats. So um, going down, we can just do B, B flat, A, A flat, G, G flat, F, E, E flat, D, D flat. So another thing you'll want to spend time memorizing are called or what are called the enharmonic equivalents, which is basically knowing that this is both C sharp and D flat, and being able to call, recall that quite quickly. C sharp, D flat, D sharp, E flat, F sharp, G flat, G sharp, A flat, A sharp, B flat. All right, um, I hope that video is helpful. If you like it, go ahead and press the like button and subscribe, and I'll see you guys for another video coming soon.